this paradigm that I give you where, where we can divide uh, <clears throat> the mind into the image piece and the talk piece, and then, you know, then that interacts with the body, the touch, feel, whatever. Um, I didn't come up with this, okay, this idea. But the person who did come up with it is in this room. So I'm going to make his feel image talk space uh, activate. Where's Peter? If there's first time or so, you may not know who this man is. This is Peter Marx, the inventor of body image talk. <laughs> And uh, essentially, uh, the person responsible for um, uh, this approach to meditation that I teach being available uh, consistently in Canada. The fact that I kind of stumbled onto one day saying, oh, I noticed that there's these pictures and these things. I mean, that he, he kind of is far too generous in what I've contributed to this thing. I mean, believe me, it's like, it's like kind of, I came to Noah with three boards, but he did the ark himself. Well, here's what happened. He was giving me a guided, okay? This part I, I'm, I know about because I journaled this part. He was giving me a guided, and I was just telling him what I was experiencing, and he said, what did you say? <laughs> that's how, that's it. I, I didn't come to him and say, Coach, I've got a really great idea. <sighs> if he hadn't have picked it up, I might not even known I said it. I mean, that's, that's the honest truth. Because I, I thought that's what everybody saw, you know? And, but there is. And what did you say? What, what did I say? Yeah, oh, I was just, I was out loud. I said, oh, I see. Well, he was, he was having me look at what we now call active, active states, right, of, of uh, image and talk. Okay, or of just thinking. We just, it, it, just thinking. I mean, if you read a lot of the stuff, it's just thinking. They don't talk about breaking it down the way he has, right? So I just, I just basically, he said, what are you experiencing? And so I just, I just said, you know, talk, talk. We didn't have any of the restful stuff at that time. Well, remember, Joe? I mean, we didn't have restful stuff. Rest, rest is within five, six years, isn't it? I would say. Four. Four years, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, and so I was just saying, you know, um, thinking and talk and talk and, and then I uh, said uh, picture, picture and that's what I call it, I call it a picture and uh, he said what did you say? I said picture. Now you see it's hard to believe with his mind that he, he hadn't experienced that but I suspect that he had experienced it but he just goes so deep that he just misses some of that Surf surface stuff, I mean, I have no idea. But for each of you, you likely know the first time you did this, you had a predominant way. This is what I think with my students, there's a predominant um, image or talk that, that they come up with, right? And, and then once you introduce them and give them a little bit of a heads up, then they'll say, oh yeah, I am. And now that you're doing it, you know that at every minute you're having 10 hits of image, 10 hits of thought, and also <laughs> the rest states all at once, right? The more you start to really look at this stuff, you see it's all over the place all the time, right? I mean, it's just layered, scaffold upon scaffold, right? Um, so that's why it's, it's, you know, it's just so fascinating to see the way he's, I mean, this divide and conquer piece, you know, is just, and that's, that's the other thing about him, this, this, these unique ways of just summarizing it. Um, yeah, we've, we've come up with a lot of things. I was, I was either blessed or cursed to have some of the early days of him kind of feeling his way on some of these things, you know, and, and um, some of the, uh, you know, the sweat work we did and, and that, it just, things just kind of evolved, I think. But uh, more important to your second point, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just so great to see what, I mean, he literally has, you know, rounded this thing out to 99 plus 9 percent of what it is, you know, I mean, and just, and just really, as I say in, in the acknowledgement of this, this book slash manual that I've written, just such a great acknowledgement that he is just, you know, relieving suffering on this planet with this stuff just in such incredible ways. There's something else that I've had to really restrain myself today because in my own lingo, in my own time, all the time, I teach to bit, excuse me, be fit, body sensations, feeling, image, and talk. So that's be fit, okay? And that's, that's about 10 years ago, that's what we were. We were body sensations, feeling, image, and talk. And there's several of us oldies that still have not really bought into the idea of, <laughs> of uh, should, I, should I, should I, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know where to go with this because it's, you know, it's public and all that. But, but hey, the big guys heard me tell them a dozen times, and we have some very, very animated discussions over, you know, and I basically say, you know, I think you're being dead right on this one, Shinzen. I think you're absolutely right in separating, you know, kind of uh, touch from feel. And I'm sure that it's, you know, the feel is maybe all in the body. I mean, you know, so therefore you can legitimately fit space as body and image. However, I think for the average person learning it, they relate to a body sensation like the pain in my knee and they relate to a pain in my heart different. So that's why I've continued to teach Just Be Fit. So I just say this because stay open to this. And if he was here, he'd say the same thing. Don't just buy what I tell you. Like, make it your own. He's always saying, make it your own. So some of us have just not chosen to kind of come on board with some of the, the current stuff. But uh, for the most part, we are. <laughs> yeah.